Hello, uh, this is the last day of the last expedition for the Giant Tomato Conservation Program here in the Pantanal. We're closing 2016 and we want to wish you all, all the members, all the supporters of RZSS, a very happy new year and a fantastic 2017. 2016 was a great year for us. Um, we, we caught five new animals during this year. We recaptured uh, several other of, of our other study animals, placing GPS, uh, GPS units on them, and learning so much more about the ecology and natural history of this species. One of the best parts of the years was, of course, when, when we found Tim, the new baby giant armadillo. This was one of the females, the female we're following, her name is Isabel. This was Isabel's third baby in five years, um, and it was uh, the first time we actually registered the interbirth rate, which was exactly three years. So this shows how slow the reproduction in giant armadillos is. We also uh, worked with giant anteaters. We caught four new giant anteaters. We had up to seven giant anteaters monitored here um, this year. Um, what else did we do in the, in the Pantanal? We, we started a grid. Gabriel ran a whole grid um, survey looking for um, how we, can we d better detect giant armadillos to estimate the densities. So lots of exciting work happening in the Pantanal. Uh, in the Cerrado, we just finished the Cerrado, right? We visited uh, 19 municipalities, uh, more than 500 interviews, and 256 uh, watershed visits. Watershed visits, yes. And, and also we did the whole uh, citizen science program yeah. where we really got to work with um, you know, the population of Mato Grosso do Sul. That was, that was fantastic. Um, so, so the expansion of the Cerrado, and then we now have a, um, in a few weeks, months, we will have a really good map of the distribution of the, of the giant armadillos in Mato Grosso do Sul. Um, and lots of progress also on the veterinary side of things, right? Daniel, you just finished your uh, thesis, your master's thesis this year. Yeah. Which is called? Uh, our study was, was based on the prevalence for the zoonotic pathogens of armadillos here in the Pantanal and the, in the Cerrado. And so just showing you know, the relationship between conservation biology and human health. And so that was a very important, really interesting study that we will, of course, continue. Um, so lots more going on. Um, and so please continue following our progress on, on RZSS's Facebook page. We try to send regularly videos. Um, so thank you so much for supporting RZSS and, RZSS and the Giant Tomato Conservation Program. Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo